So you might be trying to figure out how you can scan documents with your iPhone 14 or iPhone 14 Pro. Now doing this is very, very basic and it really doesn't take too much time. The first thing you want to do is you want to find your notes application on your iPhone. So you can see right here we have the notes app. All we want to do is we want to hold down on that notes app until we get into this little pop-up. Now you'll see a few different pop-ups that come up. New note, new checklist, but you see a scan document. All you want to do is you want to click on scan document and you will come into this panel. So we'll just click continue and a camera will come up. Now at this point, what you want to do is you want to grab the document. So here I have a Samsung Galaxy Fold camera thing, I don't remember. So what you want to do here is you want to grab that document and you want to place it in front of the camera. So go and grab that document, place it in front of the camera like this, and it should automatically detect it. And it, I think it will automatically take the picture as it just did here. And now you can go and change it to a different pic, a different page if there's multiple pages. You can keep it going. So now if we want the next page, we can go and click here. If we want the next page, you know, we just keep going and make sure, I would probably recommend putting it on a table so your hands don't get into it. But again, just keep doing as many pages as you have. If you have one page, then you can just skip that. But now what we can do is we can click save and it'll go ahead and allow us to save it as a note. So as you can see, it'll come right here. So we can go and click here and you'll see that it'll open up in a different note, hopefully once it saves up. I guess there's glitches. So as you can see, it opened up. Now if you want to view it, all you have to do is click on it and you'll be able to view this specific document like this. Now if you click on it, you'll actually be able to go ahead and click on this little edit button, which is right here, which is the filtering. So if you want the color, you can have a color, but you can also convert it to grayscale. You can do black and white. You can do this one as well, which is whatever. And there's a couple of different options you have. So now when you're ready, if you want to keep it like this, go and keep it, click done. And now we can go ahead and share this out. So we can go ahead and you know share it out. If we want to airdrop it to somebody, it should be as a PDF. It is a PDF document. You can go ahead and e email it to somebody. You can go into whatever. You can also keep it here and you can also save it to your files and you can also print it as well. So that is pretty much how you do it. If you want to save it to files, I'd probably recommend doing that. Just save it here. Just save it in the downloads or something. You can save it right here and you should be able to see that specific document under files and you should be able to see it as you can see right here. So that is pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.